It's a familiar tradition for Iowans to brave chilly temperatures and snow in order to be the first to make their voices heard in presidential nominating contests. But this year, some will get to do it on more familiar ground at so-called satellite caucus sites. I mean, our main goal here at the mosque is not only to have this building serve as a place of prayer, but as a place of resources as well. The Islamic and Cultural Center Bosniak will be one of 60 satellite caucuses in Iowa. They are happening in locations that haven't traditionally hosted caucuses, like nursing homes, college campuses, and community centers. It's all part of an effort by Democrats to preserve the unique tradition that is the Iowa caucuses, while also making the process more comfortable and accessible for communities like the growing Bosnian-American population in Des Moines. There can be many barriers keeping Iowans from participating in a caucus. Weather is one of the main factors, but also child care or work could get in the way. But for many people here in Iowa, language is also an issue. A lot of these individuals that came, you know, after the war in Bosnia, they were so busy just working, grinding, trying to, trying to create a future for us. There, there wasn't any time for ESL classes or anything like that. Campaigns and supporters of candidates have already started reaching out to the Bosnian community here in their native language. And it's happening among other groups in the state as well. About a two-hour drive northwest of the Cultural Center is Storm Lake, Iowa, a small community with a growing immigrant population. You're caucusing for the first time. Tell me about that whole process. I mean, are you excited to caucus? I am beyondly excited to caucus. Um, yeah, just last the last time I didn't caucus, I really didn't know much about how to do and what, I, what steps I had to do first. Small cappuccino? Torres is a first-generation American. She decided to get involved after learning more about the political process in college and after hearing from all the candidates who've made campaign stops at the cafe. Meeting all these new people here, I was just like, wow, we can make a change. And I felt so small, and now I feel so big. Appreciation. Along with language assistance, caucus goers will also be able to bring their children to the Better Day Cafe on February 3rd, removing another barrier to participation. Iowans at 24 different sites across 13 states and D.C. will be participating in caucuses. And there are events overseas in France, Scotland, and the Republic of Georgia. The Iowa Democratic Party is hoping to get as many people involved as possible. But even with all these changes, some may be left out of the process. Well, what we say is that we have these opportunities to participate, and that's really what these satellite sites are. And that's one of the things that we are doing differently this year as well, is for those who need accommodation at their caucus sites, we are doing that. It's all part of adapting one of American politics' most unique traditions, while also preserving a responsibility Iowans take seriously. Maybe just being old school, I would like caucuses to stay around. It's, it's how things have been done for the longest time. and. Tradition. Yeah, tra tradition, exactly.